brother. Hmm? Happy birthday. Thank you. Ellie walks there. My birthday today. I'm not gonna vlog too much today because I wanna enjoy the whole day. Huh? <laughs> well, we ate at our favorite little cafe over here, Wildflower, for lunch. There's Ewok. It's gonna hit all the spots that all the dogs went. So we've been trying to go to this house sweet is the chocolate shop and look it's dog friendly yay all right well we finished our lunch we just finished getting ready i just have on my black shorts and then my pink tank because we are going on the pink jeep tour i'm so excited uh, it's one of the activities i wanted to do for my birthday so it's a three hour tour so we have the pet sitter coming again for ewok because he did really great with her and she loved him so it was a match made in heaven and right now he's pretty pooped i have my steamer right there but so far such a beautiful birthday <laughs> guys well just waiting we just checked into the building and we went to three different ones and then she's like you know on your email it says the address she's like seems like people just don't tend to look at that <laughs> we're like uh, <laughs> uh okay like, that's supposed to be a joke <laughs> so we're just waiting here and it is empty Chimney Rocks in the United States. Almost every state has one except for Florida. Had a pretty good monsoon, a bunch of good monsoon storms this year. This is a lot greener than I've seen Sedona in years. Arizona stupid motorist law you notice a lot of roads in Arizona say do not cross when flooded they go through washes like this you try and cross one while it's flowing have to get rescued you'll pay for every dime of the rescue Aww. and your name on the news This one I call ET. You got the finger on the right, head on the left. That's a rock climbing spot, the finger. Mm. So they could be doing a rescue there or they could be doing it on the hangover trail on the other side. And that's a good trail to look up on YouTube. It's a mountain bike trail and it's like rock there and cliff there. Oh oh. And you're doing wall rides, dodging cactus. So if you lose it, it's 200 feet straight down. Oh so that no. might be where you're going. That's all. This is uncharacteristic of a fault line too. Normally they're not this sharp. Normally they're several yards wide or bigger with crushed up material in them. You don't even know you're walking over one or driving over one unless you have it pointed out or you see a map. Interesting. What? I can walk out there. Last break. All right guys, it is our last day and we are leaving, but I wanted to show you a quick little overview of the outside. I don't remember if I did, but like I said, since this is pet friendly, 
once you exit out, I wanted to show this whole little area. Look how cute, the whole little garden area. And look, right there for your pets so that they can go pee. You just clean up. So it's super convenient. You don't have to walk downstairs. Hold on, you walk, go back out. You already want pee, we're getting ready to leave. Our whole little garden area and everything like that. So it's perfect. He might actually go pee right now. Um, but yeah, it's perfect. So usually when we stay in hotels that are dog friendly, you have to get in the elevator, go downstairs, go out. There's a whole separate entr exit. Then you have like this small patch of grass or like little area. So this is perfect. And we are about to go home. Ewok is totally ready, but just look how beautiful it is. Just all around our gas pit for our s'mores. We did that last night. I didn't vlog that. I have it on my Instagram, but yeah. Here we are, just packing up. Me and Glenn were like talking about the room and what we're saying is the room is not like the newest room, it's older and everything, but over here in the hotel, it is so cozy, it feels like home. And I don't know, just, and I'm one where I get very picky, I'll be 100% honest with you guys, I get very picky. So if I feel like something just seems musty or gross, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are like this, you just don't feel comfortable just like even sitting in the bed. And right when we walked in, it doesn't have a bad smell. And it's amazing here. Like, I love it. So probably one of my favorite hotels we have ever stayed in. Um, so yeah. All right. We're going to get ready to leave. The only thing is, is I wish the shower heads were a little bit different, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you guys the lobby area and all that too. So here's our little exits, all the pictures, and the main lobby. Hi, we're checking out. There he is, killer, killer, <laughs> come here. You don't wanna no, say hi? You don't wanna say hi? I, come here, you'll say hi, you'll sneak up. Come on, say hi. <laughs> Oh, be nice, Ewok. Good job. Good job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to go home. <laughs> Here's the whole lobby area. Look how beautiful and cozy. Where are you guys off your day? Back home. Where's home? California. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. So here's the little area right here with the little gas pits and the whole little courtyard. Super cute. And then inside in the kitchen, you can get complimentary sodas, drinks, more kits, everything. All right, ready Ewok? Time to go home. And then right when you walk out here, there's this little gate. You just have to make sure that you close it after eight so nothing comes in. And then there's also a special key out to the left, like a special door you can enter at nighttime. And then last night for my birthday, we actually came out to this area right here and we were using my telescope that I got for my birthday. And then as you can see, here's El Portal, number one pet friendly hotel right here. We also won some awards. I forgot to show you guys, but it's on the wall. There's the parking lot and I believe there's only 12 suites here. So it's really, cute it's not too busy it's very quiet oh can you guys see that little lizard it's running <laughs> it's our hotel right there and you literally just walk to this whole main little area where everybody's at all the restaurants and everything it's walking distance we didn't have to drive anywhere so it was great unless like we went to an activity or something but that was basically it so Here's the cute little secret garden we were eating at in the morning. And then yesterday for my birthday lunch, there's the whole little place. So this place, so this hotel was so convenient. And then there's a whole area across the way too with shops. Last stop. All right guys, here's our breakfast. We did Ohana style again. I got the sausage and cheddar herb egg and peppers and all that and then they have a swiss got us a little side of potatoes fresh squeezed juice and we got ice lattes thank you so much you guys this is like a panera but like better it is the reviews are true they like have really good service all right guys we are 
back in California. So we're a couple hours away, so I'm gonna end the vlog there. I hope you guys enjoyed our Arizona, our Sedona trip. We had such a good time, and oh yeah, right when you pick your nose, and we'll see you in the oh, next no, one. Oh, woo woo!